Hello and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our EU4 campaign as Tunis. Uh, Dominus of the Clergy, they're both only going up by 1% per month now. I'd really like this guy to be loyal. Gotta wait one more month for that. Land maintenance modifier will go down significantly in a moment. And in fact, uh, if we get them all the way up to, uh, what was it again? I think uh, 60 loyalty. We could actually get the land maintenance cheaper. Saxon prestige to gain a bunch of loyalty, but that would raise their influence by too much. Saviard Separatists have risen up in my vassal. Hey, have fun with those peasants. I'm not going to help you. That's your problem, sir. The Emir's diet has expired. Their influence is reduced. Lithuania improved relations is maxed out. So that means that the nobility have lost influence. And manpower recovery speed is good. I think we wait till it like ticks back up to like 50 and then maybe call the diet. Try to get a little bit of positive loyalty at some point in the future. I, I, well... Let's let it tick up by 5 and we might take the military points. I might still just take those points. More points are almost always better. We can now westernize. No, we can't. We need to be 7 technologies behind a western neighbor. See, there's only 1 technology ahead of us. Oh, okay, so I lost my neighbor that was giving me the ability to westernize. Interesting. Good that we're keeping up with Castile, but let's claim on Garb. Alright, um... I think we're definitely going to want a claim on Garb and Tadla. And that'll take a little while to do because we've already got three, four claims. Each claim is going to cost how much? 40. Ugh. 40 and then 45. So we need 95. How long is that actually going to take? 95 and we're only gaining 1.16 a month. That's 95 months. I can't even get the claim. I can get one claim in 40 months. That's like tying up a diplomat <laughs> for so long. For like, four years! I'm not even gonna do it. I, I'm gonna, I, I would rather improve relations with potential allies. I think. Lithuania is actually losing a war to, to Muscovy despite being two techs ahead of them. How does that happen? How does that even happen? Austria, why are you losing to Bohemia? Alright, one more time. Let's just check our relationship slots. Let's try access through Austria. We can cancel that for right now. Lose Diplo points or lose prestige? Actually, I kind of need the... Uh, I hate I hate this, but... Uh, well, I need the prestige to make this guy loyal, so he pays me. Cancel all military access here. We've got uh, only plus 38 improved relations so far. With you. Um, over here. We are already improving here and here. No, we're not. But you're improving with me, so we can make this happen pretty quick. But you're really not interested in being my vassal. However... Wait a second, you're Greece. Greece with no clo no, no course. You're not Byzantium. Byzantium even have cores left still? Yes, they do. That would be sweet. I think we're actually losing some prestige from... No, no uncontested course because there's no truce right now. I'll go ahead and improve with you. I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know if we're actually going to get an alliance or a vassal, vassal with him, but... I would love to have a couple vassals that will provide me with 10,000, you know, 10, 10 12,000 manpower pool with a general and... Hey, CB against Castile. We have a truce with you too, don't we? No, we don't. Well, I don't really want to go to war with you. You would probably kick my ass. The rival of a rival. Make Burgundy like us. Prestige, create an army. And maintenance modifier would be nice, but we'd have to have 75% of our force limit, which is uh, way more than I'm willing to build right now. I think we'll do, uh... Last one is... Last one is, is this guy. But that thing's in the way. This guy has no allies, though, and he's, his army's really weak. Elodia, 7k troops on tech 10. I, I could totally take him if these Mamluking Separatists weren't in the way. For now, I think we'll take the, uh... We'll take the Improve Relations mission. I need the Prestige. Let's come back from Greece and go after Burgundy. Uh, 75 more. Yeah, we can easily hit the 100 mark. You remember when you used to have to get up to 125? It used to be damn near impossible with most nations. I'm glad that you don't have to do that anymore. Why are these damn navies not combined? They're, this guy has, like, one maneuver value and he could make them better. Crap! <laughs> Didn't look at the date and I just missed the month of privateering because they were both moving to join. 
You should have just joined each other. Yeah, last, last month we did not get anything from Genoa. That cost me three whole ducats. Well, damn. Is what it is, I suppose. Well, at the moment, we have exactly enough men. Exactly enough men to deal with, uh, with the Moroccan army. Just gonna wait till September of 47. And it's March of 43. Here's with Austria has expired. I, I still don't know if I really want to be this guy's friend either. Austria is down to 5,000 troops right now. They only have 20,000 manpower. They're still the emperor, but they're very, very, very weak. End of religious turmoil in Switzerland. Ooh, religious turmoil in Switzerland. Did they lose their army while they were fighting rebels? 9k troops. Only allied to Parma. Parma is this guy. Parma has how many troops? I don't even know why I'm looking. I can't I can't afford to go to war. Parma has 5,000. Tech, tech 11. Both Tech 11. I don't know if I could take them. Not, not cheaply. We'll reduce inflation again. Rooting out corruption sort of sucks. Paying 13 ducats a month in interest sort of sucks. Gaining a small amount of inflation is not a huge deal. I mean, disasters at 57% now. Dominus of the clergy. Can we make that one actually go away? I kind of don't want to deal with any of these. 80.7 and they're 50% loyalty. We could revoke a province from the Ulima right now. But that would put them below 10%. I want to do it. Ulima control. Just a smidge too much land. 0.9% here. Can we take this one? It's the, uh, yeah, this would be a good one. Only three development. And it just barely brings them below 80%. We shall do it. And now they are demanding control provinces. Let's wait till they're disloyal. That goes, there goes that disaster. Good stuff. Level 3 Master of Men. Are you crazy? You think I can afford a level 3 advisor? What the hell's wrong with you, game? National Unrest guy certainly is helping out right now. Okay, Genoa. 57. Ethiopia has just declared war on Elodia. Even with that huge rebellion stack there. They're actually heading to Karga. Hopefully, uh, since they are hostile to Elodia and there's a stack there, hopefully Ethiopia kills that stack for us. Let's see. Ethiopia has how many troops now? My last time I checked it was like 17. A, B, C, D, E. <laughs> hey, they're like one of the only E's in the game. 17k troops, yes. On tech 9. I doubt they can kill that stack, but they can certainly kill Elodia. All Elodia's attack. Oh, Elodia's army's dead. However, that is a fort. And if I park my whole army there, chances are pretty high that the Mamluken Separatists would just come and attack me. So I don't want to do that war. I, I really just want to try to stabilize, you know? I I'm desperate here to get this. Let's go on speed 4, since I the more time I just let pass. And let, like, autonomy come down, and let us make our measly 3.72 ducats a month, the better. These ships are costing me nothing. 8 times 0.04. I could say 0.16 ducats by mothballing. I don't think it's even worth it. Because it, it kills the kills the troops when you're over the max manpower. Max sailor, sailor cap. Herald from Morocco, a militarist. Neato. Rockin' Pretenders. Nice. With a two-star general. You may have some serious issues with that for a while. Autonomy decrease has expired in Rosetta. Sinai, Jerusalem. Bunch of places. Cool. Rosetta is still at 42%. Fifteen development. Unrest is a negative of something. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna revoke this from the Ulima. It's gonna cost me some loyalty, but I want to make sure we get the absolute max from this decrease, and then we're gonna give it back to him again. Actually, are they still? Are they? How, how loyal are they right now? They're exactly forty percent. So if I don't give them that land, it's not gonna work out for me. Al Karak is twenty-six percent. Uh, yeah. 
Buys me a little bit of time. Just give that to them. We can build buildings. Haha, no. Salzburg is doing a trade league. Glorious Union. You got a personal union with Wales. Scotland has just declared war. Succession. They were just at war. And they are now at war again. England is no more. Scotland has somehow prevailed in the British Isles. That is insane. Hey, thanks for the 0.3 inflation. I like it. It's nice. Leader Siege would be sweet, but uh, it's not going to happen anytime soon. Hey, Genoa, how, how close are we looking? Sorry, Alliance is 50. Royal Marriage is 25. Transfer Trade Power. We're very close. You're no longer willing to accept vassalization because you think you're stronger than me. Because I got rid of my military. So we're going to have to continue to train up troops. I mean, I do need to have them anyway. Just for the sake of preventing other people from attacking me. Um, let's start with just doing four more infantry. Why'd I do it that way instead of doing it from here? I don't know. And the Mamluken Separatists have headed into here. We'll go ahead and turn the fort on. Um, they're going to raise a Separatism. Which is really irritating because Separatism is almost gone. But I can't, I can't fight that. I just, I can't even deal with it. Um, and I have no friends that could actually kill it. There's no way that Kara, I, no one, no one borders me that could actually come down in here and help me. Austria's weak, Lithuania's weak. Everyone that I would consider being allies with is weak. Right, one last check here. How many troops does Kara have? 14k. Versus the Ottomans. I don't even want to know. 60,000. <laughs> Oh my god. That's not good. That is not good. And uh, the Memlukian Separatists are about to fire in Alexandria. Also reducing war exhaustion is gone. Switzerland has declared reconquest on Austria. Wow. Okay. Well, can we maybe backstab Switzerland? 9k troops. What's the Switzerland-Parma combo? Depending on how much longer this war will last with Bohemia, Austria might be able to turn that war around and give us an opportunity to pounce on it. They've taken control of Alexandria. You know what? Separatism is what it is. I can't do anything about it. Although that really raises the unrest a crap ton. I don't like it. So this expires at 58. It's a long time. I just recently clicked that button. Damn. They fire in this province. It's going to be another sizable one. Char has rebelled. Fair enough. To repay even one loan. What? Oh god, it was one troop. Why the hell did you march through my land, you bastards? I thought it was my 17 stack. I, I, they shouldn't They shouldn't go through my land, you know? Like, they only care about trying to overthrow the government. That was a stupid waste of a thousand troops. You know what? It is what it is. That is very frustrating, though. Genoa, how are you looking? We're at negative, still negative 19 reasons. It's gonna cut into my income a bit. Losing more claims on Morocco. I, I don't care though, we're still gonna declare the war on them the second we're able. Supply is good on the coast. Suffering attrition is, of course, quite stupid. Uh, can we detach? Wish I could, like, know which guy was the, the last to join. One of these damn infantry has just barely too little morale to allow me to move. So we're going to suffer a little bit of attrition on all of them. Cost me 155 men. Castile. Aragon has declared an independence war on Castile. How on earth did you become disloyal? Oh, and you're pulling Burgundy in. Nice. Cool. I like it. Uh, by the way, uh, a year ago I was supposed to do some raiding and I forgot. So let's uh, let's just pay attention to the ship. We'll go on speed three for a moment. Check every province as it passes through. We can get 24 ducats, 100% effective rating. Cool. Trade protection against Castile is gone because he pulled his navy off. 
Uh, ooh, sounds like another rebellion just fired. Is that more? Yeah, great. More Mamlekian Separatists. Cool. Oh, I'm really excited about fighting that army. Can they please all go away? Alright, you know what? We're gonna have to deal with this, aren't we? Uh, yeah, I have to. All together, I have 25 troops. Which is 20 in the front row. And he's got 23 in the front row. Oh, it's gonna cost me so much freaking manpower. But hey, you know, I... Uh, maybe I shouldn't have lowered, man, lowered uh, autonomy. I suppose, I suppose it's something worth considering. Supply is not good along that path. Okay, we're, no, we're losing 8 ducats, but that's uh, probably not going to continue at that, that high of a rate. Yeah, yeah, more separatism, I know. Um, we not get money from looting? Oh, we got our spoils of war last month. Just kind of surprised we were making more. I trained, yeah, I trained some troops, but not, not so much that it's, uh... This is so freaking much. Really just what they cost? Altogether I have 16 infantry at a cost of 0.23. 0.23. It's 3.68 ducats. I have 2 ducats there, and 2.5 and ducats there. It's 4.5 plus 2. No, 4.5 plus 3.7. 4.5 plus 3.7 is not 9. 4.5 plus 3.7 is 8.2. How the hell is it 9.23? Confused by this. Whatever. I just feel like we're losing a lot of money right now. Hey, it's a traitor. Um, right. So we looted one province, but then I stopped paying attention to it. I'm gonna manually path them. 45 ducats. Sweet. Sweet. Money, money, money. And you are at negative seven reasons now that I've been militarizing a little bit. And we can improve a little bit more. Let's let's focus one of the diplomats to just make sure we get this soon. Two provinces we can raid for 37 ducats. Cool. Uh, we could probably do one more sea tile. 30 ducats. Go ahead and privateer again for just a couple days while we wait for the tick of the month. And you are kind of going in a somewhat sensible direction. I can maybe just raid. Oh my god, we can actually pay back a loan. It's gonna immediately get renewed, but... Repay the loan. Extend it. There. Steel has fabricated on me. Okay, that's... A sign that things are not going to go well soon. He may very well just declare on me soon. Although, he's at war with Aragon right now, so that buys me some time. And we're supposed to declare war on Morocco in two years. No raiding available here. There was raiding available, I think, in the Gulf of Valencia. Never actually got my navy up there. The mighty Fortress of Cairo is under siege. I need to get at least one little bit of loot done. So that we don't take another loan. 28 ducats at 100% efficiency. Sounds good. And beyond that, um, I think that there were two provinces over in this area as well. Crimea now have their independence guaranteed by the Ottomans. Hey, it's like we're playing five patches ago. Back when the Ottomans liked Crimea. Their alliance. Um... Yeah, I think I'm willing I'm willing to train a few more troops. 100% effective. We're gonna miss out on a little bit of raiding, looks like. What about this one? No. Alright, for now, can you well just privateer Juno? You'll probably be close enough, I don't know. If not, whatever. Royal marriage from Genoa, we accept. Gladly, thank you. And Genoa is now at 193, and they are actually willing to accept vassalization because of the royal marriage. I always forget that royal marriage increases their reasons by ten. I don't always forget, but lately, because I haven't been doing the vassalization game much. Rival Rival is now complete. Let's come back from over there. Great army for a nation. Our manpower reserve needs to cover. Neither of these are going to happen. Um, let me take this mission in anticipation of just declaring war soon. 
Well, the national tax modifier would be pretty sweet, but we're never going to get to 90% max power. Let's be realistic. Okay. Wow. I apologize. I, I know I keep on apologizing. I feel like nothing's actually happening while I'm just struggling to recover right now. Um, and it's, it's frustrating for me. We gotta take, we gotta fight these guys. So all my manpower's gonna disappear. We're gonna spend a ton of money on reinforcement. We're losing money right now. Let's go back to improving with Crete. Would also accept vassalization. You know what, it actually looks like we're close enough. Offer the alliance to him right now. Revelations. And in... As soon as we have a diplomat, we can vassalize Genoa. Who has a few, a few, development, a little bit. Rockwells agreed to share their maps with France. Marriage from Crete, we accept. And that puts them high enough that we can vassalize them next month. Which will put us at uh, our fourth relationship slot, right? No, we already have a relationship with Crete. Alright, so Savoy hates me. Um, and they're still disloyal, if I'm not mistaken. 81%. It'll continue to come down, but... Um, Improving relations with them might help as well. I'm going to do one more thing this episode, then we're going to have to take a break, which is to vassalize Crete on April 8th. I think we could probably eke in just like one, one little quick improved relations with him. Alright. 18 in the front. I have enough. We have a horrible leader. Any capacity here? Um, to maybe get another leader? You leave, I need more land. Hmm. I think I'm gonna give him Alexandria. Occupied, I can't do it right now. Maybe we do make this into a state. It is upstream of us. Alright, you know what I could do? Let's just make it a state, but not core it. Never mind, I have to I have to core it. Fine. I don't want to do that. This is not going to be, uh... It's not going to be worth enough. I, I mean, if I was going to do it, I'd probably rather do this one. Or, or this one. We're definitely going to expand west. This area is, what? All the way down there? Ah, I'm gonna make this one to an estate. Not estate, sorry. State. Do this to the Alima, make them loyal. For one whole month, basically. That's great. Whatever it is, what it is. Alright, uh, like I said, the last thing I'm going to do is Vassalize Crete. And from our vassals, we are making a massive 0.62 off Genoa. And 0.46 off Crete. That's actually not insignificant. However, our general is horrible. And I want a new one. Grant generalship? Not until 55. 10 years from now. So we got really unlucky with the roll. Um, I want to make sure that we flank really well. So I'm going to just manually control the size of this army. Just to guarantee it. And... Please roll well. Not you, me. Okay, it's still early game, so shock phase is still far more important. And we're flanking, so we're going to take some losses here. We rolled pretty well there. Neither of us rolled particularly well there, so that's my advantage because of the flanking. And, uh... Yeah, it's costly. Or to us. Cool. We lost... 6,000 manpower, roughly. Oh god, suffering attrition again. Okay, we don't need to improve with Genoa. I think we do want to improve with our other vassal, Savoy. And I'm going to take a break, and I'm going to go take a look and see if there's any opportunity for expansion, since we have our morale at max right now. And I'll, uh, I'll look forward to seeing you again in the next episode. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. See you soon.